So just what is Shift Happens? Well, it's a few things. It's the name of a book, the training based on the book, and the pseudonym Del Arc uses to describe its person-centered, proactive philosophy blended with a positive approach. And it's also something to which state governments, national organizations, service providers, and large numbers of individual professionals are attracted. Shift happens is the, the phrase we've coined to describe the approach we take with the people we support. However, it really is the approach we take with our employees as well. So Shift Happens is, is the culture of the organization. It really is a whole idea of helping people feel comfortable around you and wanting to reinforce people for doing really good work. To come into an environment and just be hearing in a sincere, meaningful way that you are doing wonderful. Did it get them all? Yeah. It, it just makes for such a, a monumental change in people. That's good recognizing that. And look at that smile on your face. You're proud. It's built on the foundation of classic best practices in the fields of psychology, special education, and clinical social work. Positive psychology is about not focusing on disabilities and problems and fixing what's wrong with people. It's taking a whole different look at it and saying, what are you good at and what are you able to do? Focusing on that and reinforcing it. The interplay of psychology, special education, and social work produces results like significant change in people's lives, satisfaction of families, speed and depth of learning, and the absence of accidents, injuries, incidents, and allegations of abuse. It's much more time effective, people think, to punish an undesirable behavior instead of constantly reinforcing desirable ones. They don't understand that in the long run that truly is more resource intensive. People are also interested in our people power leadership model. They notice and admire the strength of Del Arc's values-based culture, its nationally recognized workforce, its strength of governance, and the competence, teamwork, and morale of our staff. What I do not only impacts the people that I support, but impacts the field. I've never had a place where I came to work and I had a little note on my door telling me I did a great job, you know, doing something the day before. You know, it's not usually like that. Usually at a, a place you work, you have to do something huge to get recognized. The shift begins by asking the question, what am I going to do to help her want to do her chores? Instead of asking the traditional question, what am I going to do the next time she doesn't do her chores? What are we going to do to help her want to? That's the question. To answer it, the first thing we look to are her relationships. Caring relationships are essential. You were quick on that one. Yeah. You got it right over there. It just makes sense. You really have to start with that caring relationship. No one's going to you know, commit to working with you unless they trust you. We listen to individuals, we get to know individuals, and get to know their needs, and therefore your relationship gets a little closer and the individuals learn to trust you. All right, that's a great choice. And that's, see how many you made a choice from? Wow! While caring is the most important thing we do, it's certainly not the only thing we do. We're constantly assessing uh, the folks we serve for how can we better provide service to them, how can we meet their needs on a level that's meaningful to them? We need to be sure that Joe feels supported every step of the way, no matter what goal it is that we're working on. These are how we can ultimately help them move forward in whatever it is that they're interested in, in a caring environment that um, promotes their independence. Once relationships are established, supports are designed and provided. Children and adults receive lavish praise and reinforcement at every step along the way. With the praises and the uh, constant reinforcements, it encourages the individuals that we serve here to take the next step and to try to learn more and to try to do more. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You did a wonderful job dumping the mix in. Whether it's here or it's at home or out in the community, 
you need to be reinforcing. You need to, to give people praise and let them know what you like and what you don't like in order for that to keep happening in a positive manner. Beautiful. And we'll have to do some more. You've got some hockey pictures that we're gonna scrap. This further motivates individuals, builds self-esteem, and further improves the relationship between the people involved. When people like each other, they're much more likely to want to learn from each other and to cooperate with each other. Anger and violence are no longer necessary. That's the secret of proactivity. If you are physically controlling somebody, what you're teaching them is that if I misbehave to this point, somebody else will come in and they will control me. They will control my behavior, they will make the choices for me. I learn nothing. Generally, once people understand the concepts of shift happens, they like it. Their concern lies in implementation. They quickly ask, how do we get people to do it? And that's where our people power leadership model comes into play. But we spend a lot of time training our staff, supporting our staff, empowering them. There's so much power in people and teams that's sluggish or worse dormant in most organizations. Our job is to unleash that power for the benefit of the people we support. You don't want to have to oversee every decision someone makes. So by having a supervisor who gives you the training that you need, as long as you are following the beliefs of our agency, then you are going to be making decisions that are on the right track. They have access to the resources and the training and the information that they need to be at their personal and professional best here. That's critical. We've organized our innovative recruitment, orientation, training, supervisory, performance review, and time management practices into a cohesive model. It's innovative and powerful, and it produces the systems and accountabilities that produce change. The foundations laid from the very beginning for people that, you know, these are the expectations that you're going to be held responsible for. It's part of your job to work well with others. It's part of your job to do what's best for the people we serve. I think it's it starts right from the beginning. There's just a foundation set for people to truly want that. And then once you're in it, you just learn that that's, that's what you like to do and, and it makes sense. If you really want it to work, you want to see progress, you want to see your folks grow in leaps and bounds, you want to see them learn, you want to see them do better in the, in the real world, you want to see better relationships, and then you'll do it the way Del Art does it. To learn more about Del Arc, Shift Happens, or People Power, continue to use our webpage. And go to the YouTube button to select a variety of important and helpful videos. You can read our books, attend our trainings, or read our blogs. But the best way to get to know us is to arrange a visit so you can experience firsthand the truly remarkable results Shift Happens produces. Give us a call schedule your visit today. The way that I've been treated as a parent and, and my, ch my other children have been treated and welcomed, it's, it's a wonderful thing. I just can't explain how thrilled I am with the program and just what a difference it has made in his life. People use Shift Happens at home at the dinner table or you know, just in their in their rela different relationships, whether it's marriage or um, or with their kids, we all we all use it. And if our kids are grown, we're going, boy, I wish I worked here when my kids were little because it's it works. It works across the board in our lives. My whole outlook on life is so much different. Everything is so positive. I work with my kids using positive reinforcement. It's so much different, and my. In my whole family setting, everything is just, it's all about this.